assalamu alaikum guys so today what we are going to learn will be about uh, fundamentals of computers and functional english and in fundamentals of computers we are going to learn about uh, input and output devices and different types of input and output devices and in functional english we are going to learn about active and passive voice and i am also going to give you guys some examples of them. first let's discuss what is input input is any data which you enter into the memory of a computer and then it processes it into information which we call output so data is input and information will be your output useful information any useful information will be your output so and what is input device any hardware or software device which is used to enter the uh, data into the memory of a computer is called an input device let's discuss some uh, different types of inputs input devices we use in our daily lives so first we have a uh, keyboard and mouse so keyboard is a normal keyboard which have different keys different symbols different functional keys which you used to insert data into the computer and mouse is simply a pointing device which is used to point out different icons or click or open a file and do all, all of the stuff on a monitor or on a screen <laughs> next we have stylus stylus many of you guys will have uh, heard about stylus which is a digital pen which is used to um, create drawings or create animations on a on a, a big sort of a tablet and you know with stylus it is really easy to draw things because if you use your finger um, to draw things it will be a lot harder because your finger ha is quite wide than a normal stylus pen so with a pen it's more easier next we have controllers you know we use controllers in our daily lives we play games we have all of us uh, have played uh, PS4 before we have PS3 we uh, use controllers to input our instructions into the console which is used to control the character in the game next we have digital cameras so how is a digital camera an input it is an input because when you capture a picture it is actually actually the, the data um, is inputted into the digital camera which is then converted uh, into a real picture uh, through a printer and you know we'll study the printer a little later next we have voice and audio uh, input we you know in our daily lives we all have had voice calls video calls with our family members you know someone is in a foreign country we have voice calls with them uh, so voice is also an input because t when two users are uh, voice chatting one is speaking in inputting his voice or her voice into the system and then it uh, reaches to the person you're uh, talking to and then the other person can hear you and then he inputs his voice and you can hear them we have audio input audio voice input is basically a sub a, a type of audio input in audio input we have different types of music we have sounds we have voices and all kinds of stuff so uh, and also we have uh, scanners scanners are devices which read the data from a real document which saves you time it scans it and then then it provides you with some useful information now uh, and also we have Kyo 6 Kyo 6 are stationary computers which are kept outside shopping malls or outside the, or in the uh, market which helps you to identify things you want to buy which have a list of uh, icons where you click you input data and then it provides you with an output now uh, let's come to output so what is output output as i stated earlier output is the information you get 
from the process uh, from the data processing your computer does and it provides you with the useful information that useful information is your output now there has got to be some ways the computer will provide you an output so uh, also let's discuss what is an output device output device is any device which uh, helps which through which a computer uh, provides you the output through which the computer displays the information the useful information to the user now we have different kinds of outputs we have uh, we have display uh, outputs is basically ha has basic four types outputs outputs have text outputs have graphics sounds and display devices so for example we have uh, display devices we have display devices we have uh, we have printers as I stated earlier we have printers we have uh, we have its types then then we have uh, speakers headphones headphones we have uh, data projectors and then we'll also talk about some output devices for physically challenged users so first just dis let's discuss about display devices all of the monitors all of the screens which di display the information are called display devices we have led and lcd screens lcd stands for a liquid crystal display and uh, LED stands for locomotive electric diode something like that okay, all right so we have two types of screens we have monitors uh, as um, output devices we can say display devices all the screens all the monitors come into display devices we have printers uh, which prints stuff we have its types we have non-impact printers we have non-impact printers and we have impact pr uh, printers so non what non-impact pr uh, printers do it they don't make uh, a physical contact with the paper but what impact pr uh, printers do they make physical contact with the paper they are printing on in non-impact pr uh, printers we have inkjet printers we have laser printers and their units are uh, ppm which is pages per minute next we have speakers all of the speakers we use in our daily life to hear the sound in uh, uh, you know we want a higher intensity of sound we want it to be loud that's why we use speakers some uh, netbook computers laptops have built-in speakers but uh, uh, most of us prefer to buy a per uh, peripheral or a separate speaker for our, our uh, computer we have headphones all right so one is headphones one is earphones so headphones cover your whole uh, uh, ear and what earphones would they just cover your ear canal uh, so these two are separate <coughs> excuse me also we have headset in headset we have a headphone and also we have a microphone so headset is a complete set of a microphone and a headphone uh, next we have data projectors uh, we actually have a data projector in our uh, university class so which helps the teachers to you know the teacher don't have to write all of the stuff on the blackboard he has just already uh, made a presentation and then he explains uh, the stuff written on the presentation and being project from the projector on the whiteboard uh, and this is also an output device now let's come to the output devices or the devices for the physically challenged users so there are a lot of special pe uh, people in this world who cannot do the normal stuff we normal human beings do they have a special kind of disability for example they cannot see they are deaf they are blind they cannot move their body parts correctly so for them we have also some special output devices for example on the brim of the hair for example if you say uh, what is an 
output device for um, as a as a pointing device so for example we have a hat uh, the person with a disability is wearing a hat and on the brim of the hat there's a sensor <coughs> there's a device attached which a sensor uh, senses which is on the top of the monitor so as the person move he moves his head around the pointing device also moves on the screen and the sensor which is detecting it uh, helps the helps the uh, computer to identify where the user wants the pointing device move to. Uh, we have a lot of output uh, and input devices for physically challenged users uh, <coughs> and you know it's still uh, progressing you know as we get as we uh, come to know about their uh, disabilities uh, we have been uh, producing some devices for them. Now uh let's come towards functional english so in functional english what we are going to learn about is active and passive voice pretty interesting topics active and passive voice so what is active and passive voice uh there is actually two ways of saying a sentence let's first discuss a basic structure of a simple sentence so for example i say talha makes presentation this is a simple sentence so talha is our subject makes his verb presentation is our object so this is the structure of a simple basic sentence there's two ways you can say this sentence either you can say Talha makes presentation or you can say presentation is made <coughs> excuse me presentation is made by Talha so here the objects object takes the subject's place and the subject takes the object's place the verb form is changed even though we use is that is the structure of the passive voice so here right here this is our active voice and right here we have our passive voice so in two we we said this sentence in two ways uh, first is this one and second is th is this one both mean the same um so let's uh let me give you some examples on um how we can change a sen change a sentence from active voice to passive voice for example this this is a present indefinite tense let me write uh if i say talha is making a presentation talha is making a presentation now how do I convert this sentence it's pretty simple I'll just have to say a presentation a presentation is being made by Talha because it is a present continuous tense we add being we add the word being and the verb form is also changed if I say Talha has made a presentation a presentation well we can write this as a presentation a presentation has been made by Talha there are actually four tenses you cannot convert them into passive voice which is present perfect continuous tense past perfect continuous tense future perfect continuous tense and we have a uh, future continuous tense you cannot convert these you cannot convert these sentences into passive voice uh, so for example if I use Talha was making a presentation I will have to say a presentation was being made if i say talha made a presentation all i have to say presentation was made 
if I say Talha had made a presentation, I'll have to say a presentation had been. So this was for past tense. And if I say Talha will make a presentation, I'll have to say presentation. Presentation uh, will be made. Presentation Talha will make a presentation. I'll say presentation will be made by Talha. <coughs> And as I said, future continuous cannot be converted. So we will come down to future uh, perfect tense. That is, Talha will have Talha will have made a presentation. I'll have to say a presentation will have been made by Talha. So thank you guys. I hope uh, you guys enjoyed uh, this uh, lecture. I had re I really had a lot of fun making it. Uh, thank you so much.